Hi, this is Paulette with Paper Wishes, and I'm going to show you Anna Griffin's Elegant Easel card making kit. Now you can make 20 cards and it comes in this really sturdy box that's very nice not only for holding the contents but your finished cards when you're done. Now as always there is going to be an idea sheet and we'll get in closer to see what the finished result looks like and I really like seeing this up close and personal because it just lets you fall in love with this absolutely beautiful kit. So there we go. On the back there are some instructions and let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to start with the card base and as I said you can make 20 cards and you can see that it's die cut and it's printed on both sides. It's got a really nice handmade buy on the back and there are two of each one I'm going to show you. So in this example there is this style and you can see all the different, uh, some are foiled, some are not, but they're still pretty. And then we have this shape. So you've got the one that's um, kind of scalloped, I guess I would say, and then this one's scalloped too. So they're just two different shapes and you're going to get uh, a total of 20, so 10 of each. There we go. You can see that one's foiled. Very light colors, as is always typical with Anna Griffin, and because the pop of color is going to come from the die cuts. I'm going to hold on to this one. Now there are also, that's our card base, there are also die cut pieces. Now these are not folded, they're not cards, but they're going to be our easel, and they match um, the ones that I just showed you. So again, you're going to get two of each, so one in this shape, this is a little taller, and then these in the other shape, more a little curved one. And as you can see, it's the same patterns that I just showed you. So I'm going to keep this one. So I have um, my card base and my die cut piece. This one is folded. You can see it's printed on both sides. Okay, then we have our another die cut. And this one is uh, more filigree. So let me just show you again that first shape. You're going to get two of these also. Everything's going to come together in just a minute. There you go. And then you also have them in the other shape. So same colors. And you're getting two each of these. Okay. So I'm going to hold on to this one because it's the same color as my initial set. Now, so I have these two, and then we have the embellishments. So let me show you what you get, and you've got a tremendous number to choose from. So as is typical with Anna Griffin, you have these die cuts. However, these are two put together. So there's a piece, some pieces of foam tape in there. You may not be able to see them. And so there's a little bit of lift to them. And look at all of them. Just beautiful, as, as you would expect. That's what we've come to uh, require of her. And uh, these are a little, um, I'm showing you almost not quite as many as you get because for every single one that's here, let me show you on this one, okay. This curves one way and this curves the opposite. You get two of each. So every single one that I've shown you here, there's actually three more of the same one. So just do that math real quickly. Okay, so we've got those and I'm gonna hold on to these two. I'm just gonna put it in my pile over here. Then we have our messages. So we have all of these and these are foiled. Let me show you, just like lightly around the edge. And then we have some that are blank, in case you wanted to say something different. And then we have these layers. Now these are all foiled, uh, gold as you can see, and we're going to use these also on our card. So got all of that. And then we also have, no I'm not done, these are also three dimensional and foiled. So all kinds of, again, there are 20, just lots of different um, messages and greetings and so forth. And I'm going to pull, um, I think I'll pull the best wishes, or how about sending blessings to you? That's sweet. Okay, 
So we're going to put that aside. So what I have to begin is I have my card base. I have my two die cut layers. You see these two are the same. This matches. And then I have my uh, gold piece. I've got my 3D and I've got some embellishments. And you know what? There's more. Okay, I forgot about the birds and the butterflies. You also have birds and butterflies. You get two of each one. So let me see. I think I will pull, oh, maybe just one of these little guys. Okay, so I have all of that. See, I'm telling you, you've got lots of stuff to play with. Now, the construction is on the back of the uh, idea sheet, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you what this is. Um, so, we are going to first take our card, and you can see that it's scored. On the inside of the flap, there is an adhesive. So, I'm going to fold that back. It already comes folded like this. I'm going to fold that back. And I'm going to get ready to position this, but you know, so that it will stay down and it's not flapping, I'm going to first decorate this, okay? So bear with me. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to attach this piece. Now, I'm not going to worry about all of these filigrees. I'm just going to put my glue right in the center because that's all I really need, okay? but I do want to position it, and you see that it matches the shape. So we've got those two shapes, and everything is going to coordinate. So there I go, just like that. Now I'm going to take this piece, and this is my greeting, and it's going to go right in the center here. So let me position that. I do have to take this minute to glue them down because when I stand this whole thing up, I don't want it to um, fall apart on you. Okay. Then I'm going to take my 3D greeting, okay? And maybe I should, well, maybe I'll pull one that's the same color, okay? I'll do that. So best wishes I've got. I'm just going to lay that. Now I could have, um, as my glue stick rolls across the camera. Do you like that? Um, I, we also have, did I show you all of the foam squares? If I didn't, there they are, a huge amount, hundreds and hundreds. And you also have 20 envelopes, so in case I didn't do that. Okay, now I have this. Now what else can I do? Well, look at all the goodies I have. I can easily embellish this. So I've got pieces that can go like this. Isn't that gorgeous? And I have a butterfly that I can put right there. In fact, I'd better put these down, hadn't I? Um, now, again, I could use all of that wonderful foam tape. Um, I'm just not to make this quick, but you certainly could. And I do like to have these kind of visually connecting. Now, also with your butterfly, let's give it a little 3D. So let's just bend it right on those corners. And, you know, I think I'm going to put it down. Well, you could put it either place. Okay. And I'm just going to put glue on the center area. I think I'll just let that be right there. Okay. What do you think? How easy was that? Yes. How easy was that? Okay. Now, next step, we're going to go back to our card. We're going to peel off this layer, okay, lay that down and position this on top, matching the shape. And it's nice to have that adhesive because then this can just stand up like so. There's my typical easel. Now. It's not going to stay there, right? Everybody knows you're shouting at me, aren't you? You've got to put something with foam tape. Okay, I'm going to take one of my pieces here that has a message on it. So I'm going to say, um, it's your day, live it up. Now, with this, I would definitely need to foam tape it. And I'm going to put foam tape in a couple of spots. Don't cover it. But just, you know, two pieces will be fine, or one little square at each corner. Then when I 
attach it on the inside with foam tape, that will secure my easel so that it doesn't fall down so easy and so beautiful. Would you not agree? And that's how you do every single one of the 20 cards that you can make with Anna Griffin's Elegant Easel. And it's appropriately named because that is elegant.